five miles service deaf system C dealer. Hello from Peterson's Farm of Nashville. This is Phil speaking. Uh, here today, I'm just going to explain to you and hopefully save you a lot of money. If you too have the engine light come on and then warn you that you have uh, 150 miles until you hit the five mile an hour limit zone, the death mode. I call it the death mode. But anyway, uh, ran a scanner on it, P20, B9 was the code, and it states it's a reductant heater control circuit open. So that's a generic code. Um, this is on my Ram 2500, 2018, 6.7 uh, diesel Cummings. And um, first time I've had a diesel system, I've always had fuel gasoline type system so a lot of this uh, was uh, trial and error learn on the fly and I'll be the first one to tell you that I hate electrical problems but um, I feel more confident in uh, diagnosing di diesel systems now because unfortunately um, my lack of knowing is going to be a benefit to hopefully one of you all and save you from spending $1,500 like I did and cut that down to about $250 like I should have and save you $3,000 from having the dealer do it. So watch the video, all the troubleshooting um, program that I went through. I actually purchased a subscription to... Um, all data do it yourself DIY or DIY all data DIY and if I would have spent 50 bucks in the beginning you know I would have been out $300 at the most probably could find the part far cheaper but 250 $300 this repair should have cost me ended up costing me $1,500 because um, I didn't take these steps that I'm about to share with you so Enjoy, comment, like, join the channel. It's not all about uh, working on trucks and uh, cars, but I do throw those in there um, whenever I do have to work on them to uh, hopefully share because that's how I learn is YouTube. Uh, finding you all out there on YouTube that's had the same problems that I'm experiencing and uh, learn from your um, knowledge, skill, or in my case, my mistakes. So enjoy. And everybody have a great day. Thanks for stopping in and watching. And there again, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, hit the subscribe button, please. And um, we can be friends out there and share each other's knowledge and mistakes. Reductant heater A control circuit open. B20, P20B9. So let's see if we can erase it, which I think I had to turn the engine off, I'm not sure. Racing clears all DTCs, well, let me do it. Engine must not be running to erase. So I'll we'll turn the engine off. It's gonna do the same thing. Race, the race was successful. We'll see about that. See if we can erase this one. Or is it just coming back? Uh, reducting the heater control. I don't think it's going to let me erase it. This is what it's appearing to be. Just gonna keep coming back. Alright, not quite sure what I did, but talking this, uh, reading some up on the internet, it said you could possibly pull the truck out of lift mode by placing a resistor in line of the uh, voltage going to the doser over there on the exhaust. 
So it appears to me I'm getting 12, 13 volts here. This is the power coming off. And then when I plug these two in, I plug these two in for the inline heater that goes over, uh, goes up to there. Then if I plug this resistor in to this power, it's kicking out a lot of codes and eliminated the uh, engine light and eliminated the uh, lift mode from what I can tell. But I think I need the uh, death fuel Death. I think I need the uh, death line heater tubing, which runs up from here along this subframe and then over to the injector. Showing that it's possibly dead, which is a common thing, I guess. So, like I said, after I put that resistor in there, the check engine light went off. I haven't gotten the message for the limp mode back. tell you, I've got all kinds of codes here now. I've got the uh, new code, P -O, or P2048, P2509, and then the same old B P20B9. Now, when I try to erase these codes, they come right back with that resistor in line. So, can I drive it? Yeah. But I think I need to uh, get that cable ordered. That's my next step. But, it's cool to see that that works. I'm not quite sure. So I picked up a new harness at the dealer for $245, expensive. I'm just gonna plug this new harness in. To where I had the transistor hooked up, and where the old harness is hooked up. And, oh my gosh, hopefully, this is the problem. So with that plugged in, now we should be able to clear the code at least, or see. All right. So far so good on the engine light, def light. Still got some permanent codes in here. So we the B20, P20, B9, P20, 48, P25, 09. This is the one that started off, P20, B9. So these may not erase until after a few key cycles is what I'm told. 
so. Same result. After I change out the tubing, and I'll show you how I figured that out on the uh, all data DYI website subscription, and um, saved me a lot of time and would have saved me 1300 bucks if I'd gone to that and not uh, relied on the uh, dealer's. Um, recommendation per the code from my code reader that I gave him. So, but ended up spending about 1500 1600 for something they quoted me to do at the dealer about 3000 They probably would have replaced all the wires, pump, everything just because. Just because they can with some people. Okay, now I've got both lines connected, the electrical connected, so the whole new line is installed underneath. We'll go ahead and let's look at the uh, look at the uh, codes. Just in review, um, did have to remove this cover here, which is 14 millimeter bolts, in order to get to this heater hose connector, and then also the electrical connection that goes along with it. This is the old one. That's the connector that goes into the pump. And this is the connector that goes to the PCM wire harness, which is just tucked up underneath there. In order to access all this and to get this old one out and the new one in, did have to loosen or remove this 16 millimeter nut that holds the uh, tank brace on there, just so I can make this mobile enough and lift up on enough to get that old hose out and the new one tucked in there okay so that's probably the major things that you had to do other than wrap the new hose around which I'm still in the process of doing here's the new hose here's the old hose so as I go around I'll just set the clips unclip the old hose clip in the new hose until you get all the way over to your uh, injector and then you got a connector that goes on there, the uh, other side of this line, which is the same type of connector, just at a, a 90 degree angle, but no wiring harness on that side. Found out this wiring harness just feeds a heating element that goes through this tubing that uh, keeps the uh, def fluid from freezing up, going from the pump over to the injector. So the connector on the injector has nothing to do with this heater hose. The only connector, electrical connector, is this one at the uh, front end of it at the pump connection. Just to clarify that. Okay, so I'm going to show you all data, DIY. My neighbor uh, recommended this to me. And... I did subscribe. If you ever buy a manual, or if you've ever bought a manual for a vehicle, you'll know that they run anywhere from 15 on up to 20 some bucks, typically, at um, AutoZone or someplace like that. However, this is online subscription. I know you can see $59.99 a year, but I'll tell you what, if I would've paid that $59.99, for the one year prior to me listening to the dealer, 
and asking his suggestions, I would have saved myself probably about $1,500 to this point and would have found out the true root cause and the part to replace, which ended up being about $245 in two weeks of time. So, my bad. But uh, here I am just trying to uh, help you all out and uh, avoiding the same mistake or other mistakes if you have problems with your Ram truck or any other model that you have out there. This is a great resource and I recommend it highly. So after you sign in and get your account, you can go to uh, the truck that you signed up for. And if you have a diagnostic code, which I did, you can look that up. In my case, it was a P code. And you just scroll down till you find which one it is. So I just want to make sure I had 14 volts power coming through there, which I did. Okay. Let's see what we want to go back to. So I'll close this out. So that's the connector itself. It describes what it is. Um, so if you want to go into diagnostics, it shows you the components. I already have it bookmarked in this case for the Ram 2500. There's the P20B9 reductant heater A control circuit. That's the uh, code. Here's a diagram, the pump, PCM, and then the reductant heater circuit. This just explains the theory of operation. Also states that the tank temperature sensor only works at a certain temperature. So even if you fix the problem, you might not be able to clear the TTC until the temperature is cold enough. Then it goes into diagnostic testing. And it explains step by step on what to do, depending on what you have, if you have an active DTC. And you go on to step two, the steps to test it, and then what's the outcome, and then it breaks it down or goes into each step depending on what you find electrically during your testing. And then here you have a window that takes you into the components for the diesel exhaust fluid system. Shows a diagram of the overall system. Color coded. And the highlighted lines are the uh, exhaust fluid heater. Or whatever you pick, it will highlight. Then you can go into uh, removal and replacement of that component. It'll show you what the component looks like. You can even choose where it's located. It'll show you the location on an exploded view. But here we're going to pick the 
fluid heater tubing. And you can pick removal or installation. And it has a breakdown of how to remove it. Location, in this case, you're looking at the bottom of the uh, actual def pump. That's the number three is the uh, coupler for the heater hose line. That's what we need to disconnect. And then on the other end, that's the uh, 90 degree coupler, number one, which connects to the uh, injector. Number two, don't worry about that. That's a sensor wiring harness, which has nothing to do with what you're doing here. And this is just some information on how it operates. Has some good information to read through it. Helps you exp understand the system a little bit better and uh, what you're actually looking for. Okay, so got the uh, Ram 2500 diesel 6.7 Cummings. Got the DEF system back up and going. You'll see in the videos where it put me into uh, DEF limp mode or the warning for five mile an hour after 150 miles and um, needed to get that fixed. So it ended up being the uh, heater tube which is just basically the supply line from the def tank over to the def injector that's on the exhaust and then there's a low voltage line coming from the pcm to this line and um, i'll show you how uh, i uh, figured that out and bypassed it at one point in time just to confirm that that was it bypassed it with a uh, resistor and got rid of all the codes that way, the lights anyway, the warning lights and the deaf limp system warning. And then um, how I went ahead and replaced the line that, that needed to be replaced. So, obviously not one of my better engagements with repairing a vehicle. However, it's my first diesel. So I learned a lot about diesels and I understand the deaf system pretty good. Uh, rather than spending all that money that I put into the DEF pump, if I had to do it again and I had more knowledge about diesels, I would have looked at getting it tuned up. Wink, wink. So, and uh, just eliminating most of that system. So anyway, glad you stopped in. Hope you get something out of this. And uh, this is Phil from Peterson's Farm of Nashville. Little Nashville, Indiana and uh, just fixed my Ram, my 2018 Ram 2500 diesel 6.7 DEF system that uh, was in DEF limp mode, 51 miles from it, matter of fact. Till that next time, everybody have a great day. Thanks for stopping in. And remember, you can take on these projects too. Uh, learn from my mistakes and try to avoid your own. So Phil signing out from Peterson Farm in Nashville. Thanks for stopping in.